What's up guys, it's Dull Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to Feminist Plays Victim Card Gets Wrecked at Purple Pill Podcast. So this is from the Just Pearly Things podcast, or channel, which she's the host of the pregame podcast, but I think she's on another podcast here, I'm guessing that's the at Purple Pill Podcast. Never heard of them, I'm not exactly sure what the Purple Pill is, maybe it's supposed to be like a fusion of the Blue Pill and the Red Pill. Um, yeah, I've never really heard of them, not familiar with any of their work, but... Anyway, link to the original video down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to help the algorithm, and let's get into it. No, and t have his babies by any means. If I'm on the boat with a star, I'm getting her out the way, and then I'm leaving. I'm not you going be on the to boat? wipe Where are y'all going? On the boat. It is irrelevant. Right. What is your cash app? <laughs> what? I want to know no, seriously, commitment. What's your cash app? Uh, can, can we talk about... Okay, this so is a, this no, is no, a drop, genuine drop question. Your cash app. You got so we'll double I, ha I have a genuine question well, about the red pill I don't need y'all's money, man. This is a fire a show. Y'all just suck for me. Seriously, I don't want nobody's money. I'm just trying to bring context. This is me, just pearly things. This, they, they, I know. They, 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 <laughs> people, people like I'll, to donate. I'll give you my Venmo. I don't want y'all's right. money, man. Just I have, me more I have a genuine question. Based Do people actually get donations through Cash App? Maybe they're not on YouTube or Twitch or something, but like on YouTube and Twitch, they have donations like built into it. You can just donate. Maybe they're just really small. Because on YouTube, I guess you need like a thousand. I think you need a thousand subs and four thousand watch hours or something like that. But yeah. It's on ignorance because I don't know about the red pill movement that much. Okay, so this is coming from. Well, I want to learn more about what this movement is about. Okay, what is your stance on commitment? on a man's perspective, because I feel as if, again, this is me just from the very little that I have seen, I have noticed that in the red pill movement, men do not seem want to commit to women. Again, now, this is the one video that I saw. It was So, the thing with the red pill thing in general is that it actually started as like a political phrase. It was used on 4chan back in like the early 2010s. Started as like a political statement for people who had taken the red pill. They see politics for what it really is, not what they thought it was when they were a kid or a teenager. Then it kind of spread into other things and really became more mainstream, I guess you could say, through red pill dating. Um, but generally, you know, what the red pill means is seeing things for how they're, you know, it's, it's a matrix reference, right? It's like you can take the red pill and you'll see the world for what it really is or take the blue pill and everything will just be as it's always been. Um... So the red pill means to see things for how they really are. Now the problem with that is that like you, you get talk to like fifteen different red pill guys and they all have different opinions on everything, um, and a lot of people get really I, I don't know if emotional is the right word, but they they let their cognitive biases get in the way a lot of the time, um, and then they'll call themselves red pill, but they really don't see the world in like a really I guess functional way is the best way to put it. Um, but yeah, the, like the commitment issue is a good example of this, right? You see. Red pill guys who are like, uh, har I guess you could say like hardcore traditionalists. They want to turn to traditionalism or return to traditionalism because they see it as the most functional way for society to be functioning. Uh, and then you have like the red pill guys that are kind of like more, I guess MGTOW would be the best way to put it, right? The MGTOW guys, men going their own way. Um, and I, I, I guess to some degree you could say that the they're both red pill in a way, but they're, they're kind of have different end goals, right? So like the more traditionalist people kind of, you know, they want to fix society as a whole and they view it in like the sense of like a, you know, a, a families make a street, make it, you know, a, a, basically, a, you know, people come together, make a family, right? What makes the most functional family is traditional values, right? A bunch of, you know, a bunch of families make a street, a bunch of streets make a town, a bunch of towns make a county, a bunch of counties make a state, a bunch of states make a, a nation. Um, so that they just want to fix like the familial issues to try and, I guess, like rebuild the nation in a sense, bring it back to its former glory. Um, and then the MGTOW guys, they're they're more looking at it from the like this is the way the world works right now. So how can I best function inside of it without attempting to change anything in it, without attempting to return to a sense of traditionalism? Um, so even within the red pill movement, you've got like very different views on relationships in general. But anyway, I'll, I'll let her continue. Was one of your guests? I don't remember his I would name. Agree. Okay. One of the videos that I saw was this dude saying that a woman does not have high value. A woman is, does not have high value. And a woman's prime is only between 18 to 25. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to recycle women as you get older. And so a woman, again, this is the video that I saw. It, the... 
So I love how you can see the blonde girl. She's getting like all butt hurt about that. Like you can see it in her eyes. She's like, right. It's it's like yeah, obviously that's <laughs> the funny thing is it. This is what I find funny, right? They they get so upset about shit that's just a biological reality. Now, are there outliers? Yeah, there's going to be women who are, you know, still incredibly beautiful, you know, in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. Some women are still, you know, incredibly fertile, right? But again, I think this is a big problem you see with a lot of people in modern day, and I've said this before in other videos, is that people separate relationships and dating from the act of procreation. And this is true whether you look at it from like a traditional religious perspective or you're looking at it from an evolutionary perspective, right? From the tr traditional religious perspective, it's more of kind of like a romantic fantasy type thing, right? You fall in love in the eyes of God, and then, you you know, you, you stay together forever, and you have children, and you procreate, and then the next generation does the same thing. From an evolutionary perspective, it's the same thing, but obviously the framing's a little bit different, right? It's like, all you know, these chemical processes are evolutionary advantages to make you want to stay with that person so that your offspring have the best chance of survival so that... Uh, you know, basically so that you can continue your evolutionary line. But the thing they agree on is that the entire point of relationships is to procreate, right? But now we have this, like, modern, I don't even know, it's like pseudo-religious, pseudo-intellectual view on relationships, that, like, relationships are just for fun. And it's like, that's that's not true from an evolutionary perspective. It's obviously not true from, like, a traditional religious perspective. You can only really think of, think of that way if you're, like, a... A like incre like a modern. Uh, I don't even know what to call them because they, there's not really a word for it. But like a modern pseudo intellectual, pseudo religious, like left wing perspective, I guess you could say is the best way to put it. But it's even even that's not entirely accurate because there are right wing people who think like this, um, and there's yeah. But it's you know again like the entire point of relationships you know again from from regardless of religious or you know evolutionary is to procreate eventually right it's to make a family. Um, so obviously like men have a peak when women have a peak, right? Men and women are valued for different things in those relationships, right? Women are usually valued for youth, fertility and purity, um, youth and fertility are kind of one and the same, right? Um, you know, youth is just a kind of a proxy for fertility, you could say. So really, if you want to really boil it down, it's like, uh, fertility, purity, and I guess like good motherhood characteristics, like nur nur nourishing, um, you know, nice kindness, like stuff like that, like generally characteristics that are seen as like more feminine. Um, and then, you know, purity is obviously for like mate protection, right? Because again, we didn't evolve for, now we have access to all these different forms of birth control, whether it be hormonal birth control or whatever. But we didn't evolve for these things. These things are all relatively new, right? We evolved for, if you have sex, you have a child that is like a direct repercussion of sex. So people are still, have that evolutionary desire to mate guard regardless of if it is actually necessary in the modern world, which it, to, to a large degree it usually isn't, right? Um, and then, you know, uh, fertility is obvious, right? Because, I mean, if you're trying to have offspring, you obviously want to be fertile. Now, when it comes to women going after men, a lot of the things that they go after men are kind of archaic and don't really make sense anymore, right? Um, you know, they tend to like guys that are taller and physically stronger than them. That's really not important since the invention of guns, right? Uh, you know, it's, it's that saying, it's like God made all man, but Colt made them equal, right? I mean, you have a girl with a gun, she's just, you know, she has the, the ability to be as accurate as a guy. Um, you know, she's training with a weapon, she's going to be just as good as using it as a guy would, right? Uh, so there's no reason for her to need you to defend her anymore. But again, weapons have only, like guns, have only existed for a couple hundred years. Really good ones for like two or three hundred years. Uh... So that, you know, that evolutionary mechanism of, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years is not going to go away just because we invented something, you know, in historical senses, you know, uh, uh, like yesterday. Um, and then uh, what else? Uh, you know, women try to tend to be more attractive to guys with high social status and lots of money, right? Women have more than enough ability to acquire high social status and money nowadays, right? But what is money a proxy for? Money is a proxy for, uh, you know the ability to like acquire resources, whether those be physical resources like gathering stone, gathering wood, um, or, you know, edible resources like food, right? So a lot like meat, right? So a lot of the time they're, they, th this proxy, right? We've like abstracted this out. So you now have money as a system of, because our society has become so complex, money is abstracted out and it's used as like a tool to acquire resources, but it's really the resource acquisition that's the key there, right? 
but again, you know, so many of these resources are so much easier to get nowadays that you really, you really don't need a man to get those resources. But people are still, you know, ev evolution still exists, right? The steam engine didn't come around until like 200, 200 years ago. So people are evolved for pre-steam engine when these resources are really easy to acquire, right? Or when they were much more difficult to acquire, I should say. So women are still attracted to that. Um, so, so yeah, you see like differences in what men and women are attracted to, even what age men and women are attracted to, right? If you, you know, they've put, they've studied, they've done studies on men and women, what age they find most attractive. Men tend to rate women the most attractive at ages 18 to 25. Women tr tend to rate women, um, men the most attractive at ages 35 to early forties. It varies by study, but like 43 to 45, right? It's yeah. I mean, it's, it's not, I, I, I feel like the biggest problem here is that people separate relationships from having offspring way too much in the modern world and they don't understand that like the 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 feelings you have these emotions you have are just chemical reactions to attempt to make you to breed right and they try to like separate the science from it i guess you could say to be like more disney fairy tale romance stuff and it's like yeah i mean that's, that's a good story to tell your kids but if you're trying to look at this objectively that's just not true oh i accidentally have this muted still so. from being deemed a queen by a king and uh she only gets her worth based of the last name that they get so again in my in my opinion in my opinion it seems as if this video this man is telling men to not commit there's no reason to commit to men if they're just going to be jumping from young woman to young young woman so again i want to know i want to open up the floor can you explain to me if the red pill movement is encouraging or discouraging Commit. It's discouraging. Mm. But I think purple pill is encouraging. You need to get. That's you why blue, I'm here. You need to get you a blue pill or a purple pill guy. Don't get a red pill guy. I think. Oh no! Don't get a blue pill guy. Definitely. Not. I don't know what the purple pill is, but <laughs> I mean, no girl wants to date a purple pill guy. I mean, I'm sorry, no girl wants to date a blue pill guy. That's for sure. Right? They may pretend they want to. Right? This is like the. The stereotype of the girl, like, always going for the bad boy, despite the fact that she, you know, she'll, you know, but the blue pill guy is the nice guy that they would never date, right? Um, probably the best example of this is, you know, this is obviously just an anecdote, but I remember this girl in high school, she was, like, one of, like, the leaders of our fucking, uh, oh, what was it called? It was, like, the great Gay Straight Alliance or something like that. Hardcore, like, you know, pro-feminist, pro-LGBT, all that kind of shit. And she ended up dating this guy who is, like, the openly the most homophobic dude I've ever met in my life. Like, not even joking. He unironically, like, dead ass thought, like, all gay people should be shot. That was, like, literally his belief. They ended up dating because he was way out of her league, right? She, she was a pretty, you know, a slightly above average looking girl. Like, not bad looking. He looked like he could be a male model, right? He was, like, one of the most athletic kids in our school. Um, you know, really fucking good looking dude. Really athletic, right? Had a decent job. Um... And they end up dating, and like, right? So she didn't go for a fucking Mr. Nice Guy that was hanging out in the great gay straight alliance, right? Like she went for the fucking, <laughs> she went for the pretty, uh, I guess you could say red pill ish. I don't know if it, you would call that red pill, but uh, yeah, definitely didn't go for the Mr. Fucking Nice dude. But yeah, like, and again, like this kind of gets to, like there's a common saying. It's like alpha fucks, beta bucks. Right? So a lot of these girls will end up dating some blue pill dude, but they'll fucking that's after they have three kids and you know may, they'll probably still cheat on him. Um, now I don't I don't know what the purple pill is. Um, you know, the, I guess this is becoming a thing again. Back when the red pill was popular, like in political spaces, which has kind of died out of, people started making up all their own pills. Like there was the white pill, the black pill, and the black pill is still kind of a thing. Um, the clown pill, the the honk pill. There was like all these different pills. Um, I guess that's kind of what's happening here. But, but yeah, like even within the Red Pill community, there's there's two different views on commitment, right? You have the guys that are MGTOW and you have the guys that are traditionalists. Um, traditionalists would obviously be looking for a relationship. The MGTOW guys would be, you know, kind of the fucking Chuck guys. That it, it's kind of both, right? So Red Pill is like knowing your reality, right? So like obviously us, we're aspiring to be multimillionaires, right? A lot of men are comfortable within their realities, right? So they're doing their nine to five, they come home, they satisfy their wife, right? So if that's your reality, right? Mm -hmm. Don't allow your, your wife to take advantage of you, right? For us, we're going to... Yeah, I, I don't understand. Like, there's, there's a lot of disdain for that in modern society nowadays where people get upset when people are, are, like, willing to just work a regular nine to five and have the kids and the white picket fence and all that kind of stuff. 
And you see people get upset, like, don't you want more of your life? Don't you want more? So no, I just want a regular life. Like I, don't, I, I feel like you know, having just a regular life is super underrated nowadays. So many people are just, you know, trying to engage in the rat race more than they should. They should just lay back and relax. You know, just work your regular nine to five, have a couple beers in the weekend with your buddies, have a campfire, just chill out. It's not for everyone, right? But anyway, we'll let them continue. Just wanted to kind of say something that I was skipping over. To do our thing, right? So we're committed to the woman that we're with, right? Mm-hmm. But also as we build ourselves, obviously we're not going to, you know, remain stagnant. Mm-hmm. If that answers your question. Mm-hmm. So you I, I like, oh, go ahead. Um, to answer your question, I would say that the red pill um, discourages men from getting married because men get a bad deal today. I was just they get, they, get, they, get, they get a contract that women are paid to leave. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they're, they're, men value purity and youth. Mm-hmm. And the average age of first marriage in the U.S. is like 28, 29. Mm-hmm. That's not young anymore. Mm-hmm. And that's not pure. How many bodies you got by 28, 29? Mm-hmm. And so it's like they're, t- average, they're, they're ac- accumulating all of the risk. And what do they get out of it? They don't get a, a virgin bride anymore. So it's like they they're, really- they're, they're looking at the costs and the benefits. And they're just saying, you know what? We're not really getting the things that we want anymore. So fuck it. And okay. I'm sorry. Well, I'll- yeah, and then and, and she, what she says is true there. And then what you see out of guys is, again, two reactions to this, right? You see, obviously, the MGTOW guys, which are, like, kind of, um, you know, fuck this shit, I'm just going to do my own thing. Uh, and then you see the more traditionalist guys, which basically have, basically, they demand, I guess, traditional standards out of the women is the best way to put it. And they think that we need to raise the next generation to be much more traditional like they used to be. Um, so you do see two different reactions to it, depending on the guy. But, uh, it, yeah, it varies from guy to guy. And I would say, like, both those are, you know, well within the, the sphere of red pill, right? Because they both acknowledge the reality of the situation. They just have two different uh, prescriptions on how to fix it, right? One is basically, it's gonna, it's, it is it's what it is. I'm not going to attempt to fix it. We'll just, you know, I'm just going to do my own thing. You know, maybe I'll have a kid. Maybe I won't. I'm going to make a bunch, fucking ton of money, bang a bunch of broads, and that's it. And then you have the other guys which are like, we need to fix this. This is a serious problem for society. It's an ailment for society. You know, if we don't return to form that we were in, like, the 50s and 60s, then the society is going to continue to deteriorate, and they want to return to that, so. The they, say they, want to uh-huh. they say purity and youth, y'all want to date children. <laughs> I mean, all the, wives, I all the wives in my life, their husbands don't even come home to, all the housewives, I feel like husbands don't even come home to a warm cooked meal like they're, Brazil, e- they they're eating leftovers oh from the night gosh. before but like so like you mm-hmm. said i feel like men are realizing that they're getting like the shit end of the stick and it's just kind of like they kind of it's not that they never knew their worth but i feel like men are actually stepping into like a phase where they're like i know what i bring to the table and it's like you know. yeah men are still expected to, expected to bring everything they did traditionally women are expected to bring nothing they did traditionally right um and it's kind of funny because you, you see you know, all these dating shows and these girls come on and they're like club thoughts and stuff. And they're basically asking for, you know, you see what they ask for a guy, right? And they want a dude that's minimum six foot. Some of these girls come on here and this is six foot four. It's like, okay, six foot's like 10 to 15% of the population, even less depending on where you live, right? That's in the West. And the West is the tallest populations in the world. If you go to a lot of other countries, the average person's well below that. Uh, and the six foot four, I think it's like something like 1% of the population is that height or taller. Um, and he's got to be in incredibly good shape, and he's got to be six foot plus, and he's got to, you know, make at least six figures. Some of them want a millionaire, so he's got to make at least nine figures. And so, do you realize what a minuscule percentage of the population that is, right? And they basically want like this, you know, traditional man who is incredibly hyper successful. And then, what they bring to the table is like absolutely nothing, right? And I, I can see why a lot of guys are just like, yeah, fuck that shit. I'm I'm not dealing with that, right? A hundred percent. Especially when you, like, if you're, if you actually are that dude, right, you're that guy who's, uh, you know, you're fucking six foot four, you're, you know, a professional athlete or, like, in the fitness level of a professional athlete, you're making millions of dollars a year, you have the option of pretty much any woman in the world, right? Like, most 99% of women are going to want to date you, so you really don't have to tolerate that shit from any of them. Um, the, the problem is you get guys that are, like, you know, fucking five foot three, obese, making 10k a year and they're like yeah i'm fucking red pill bro it's like good luck with that buddy (laughs) good luck with that (laughs) you're gonna need to you know get your ass in shape and get a better job and you know maybe get some lifts in your shoes or something um but yeah and also just a comment on the one guy he's like you know these these men want to date children it's like bro 
That that was literally the societal standard less than a half a century ago, right? You were considered like an absolute slag if you had slept with anyone that you weren't married to fucking 50, 60, 70 years ago, right? This is one of the things I find funny because this dude, he's like whoever said that he was one of the guys in the background, one of the producers or something. He's it's kind of funny because he's like cucking himself for simultaneously intra and intersexual competition. So intrasexual competition, the competition between members of the same sex, right? So he's trying to make other members of the same sex look lower status than him, right? You know, oh man, you have these unrealistic standards. You wouldn't bang these hoes. It's like a lot of guys would bang them. They're just not going to commit to them, right? But it's trying to lower their value and raise his by saying these things, and then intersexual competition is hey hey baby um you know I, i'm not that kind of man i'm not insecure i'm not like one of these guys out here that's you know looking for uh, a fucking virgin like i have realistic standards right so it's it's kind of funny because he's you know he's, he's playing his cards while trying to you know shame other dudes for playing their cards but uh yeah that dude's a straight cock maybe she's not bringing why did you do that no, was he was threatening me you know career is over with go ahead uh, you know, I'm sadly I'm unemployed. I lost my job, so well, the, don't the worry baby about it. Career is over. How? Why? I'm in here, your I'm opinion. Here. Oh, you're, you're interesting. You know this for is sure. a fact that I ended her career tonight, right? No. No. How old, how old whatever are you, floats your boat. I'm I mean, 34. whatever. My 34. 29. 29. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? 26. I right. just turned 26. So, can we all agree that, you know, as man, that's rough. The only one that actually looks decent for her age is the fucking 29 year old. 34-year-old looks like my mom, who's, like, in her 50s. As a woman, your your fertility rate, you know, lowers as you get <gasps> older, right? Oh, my God, does it? Mm -hmm. Right? So, the older you get, the less likely you are to obtain a man, most likely because a man is looking for some a woman that can give him kids, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense, right? Depends so that's, on what they are looking for. There's other guys out there that don't want kids. So, want that, that's such a... It, Yes, that is technically true, but that is such a minuscule percentage of the population, right? Uh, like, most people want kids. Are there deviants out there that don't? Yes. And, and, and I use the word deviant on purpose, right? Because they are an evolutionary dead end, right? They don't want children. They're an evolutionary dead end. It's as simple as that, right? So there are deviants out there who will, you know, cock themselves out of the genetic pool. Good for them. You know, do what you want to do. That's your life, bro. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely going to limit your ability to date 100%. It's just like if you found out, like, if, if you were a woman that, you know, wanted a large family and you found out a guy was unable to have children, you're probably not going to be nearly as willing to date him. That's, that's what I mean. That's what I meant when I was doing the percentages before and you said, where is this going, right? We can't go off of the minority, right? As a majority, most men look at the woman... So black lives matter. Yeah, and that's a big thing you see with a lot of these arguments, right? They'll, they'll take this incredibly small percentage of people and be like, well, not all. And it's like, no, but we're talking about general statistics, right? It's, yeah. Like, you know, sure, 1%, probably less, honestly, of people don't want children. Uh, actually, it, it honestly might be more because that's like the entire left wing at this point. They have like 15 fucking death cults going on. Um... But, you know, <laughs> I would actually love to see that because, honestly, they have so many death cults on the left. But, uh, anyway. Oh, me and this woman compatible. What's our kid going to look like? Where are we going to go going forward, right? So, moving forward from that, right, that's what that clip meant, right? 18 to 26 or whatever that age range means. We're not saying women after 26 are worthless. What they're saying is mm. 18 to 26 is that optimal range. You find a woman that has less bodies is still fertile and you know you can build a life at a young age rather than trying to you know adopt have a woman like yourself no not to come at you or anything you already have your core values you, you i want to hear i want to hear this guy talk because the entire time he's had like this look of disgust on his face i'm just expecting the most cringe shit to come. maybe it's just his resting face he just has like a weird resting face but i'm honestly just expecting the most cringe shit to come out of his mouth you're men you don't want to tell us your body count because so you're saying that you want to groom women you want to groom <laughs> bro how did you get that out of that what <laughs> them at the a young age the, the, the definition and impregnate of, them and not commit to them the is definition that what you're saying? Of, the definition that's literally not what he said at all he literally said he wants to commit 
I love how she, she, she just gets insulted. Oh my god, she's fucking brain dead. Of grooming is somebody that's under 18 that you're trying to, you know... You uh, can groom someone over you, 18. You cannot groom an adult. Yes, you can. How do you groom an adult? They chose... They chose gaslighting? Gaslighting? Narcissism? Gaslighting? They, that's their decision. Excuses. No. Excuses. No. Excuses. They're not a minor. No, it's just facts. They're not, they're not a minor. I think anymore. that's it's women. Easy women. Way. No, it's just coping. Right, because they they're coming to realize that their value is diminished, and it's a cope, and and you know, like I was saying before, it's it's an attempt at inter and intra sexual competition at the same time, right? They're trying to diminish the value of other women, and they're trying to you know shame these men for going after more valuable women, right? Get always, out of no, something it's, by saying so you can't exclusive. manipulate someone at this table women, right now. I can manipulate someone. Women so always want to be you picked. I fucking doubt that you are brain dead. Oh. You probably think you can, but you not, good luck. You're the dumbest person. Well, maybe not. I mean, there's other two girls besides you don't seem very bright either, but. Yeah, good luck. Like, you're not. not a victim. I would love to you, try. You're not a and victim. You a very hard Even in this well, hey, conversation, I like you wanted to be a victim with a guy you slept with twice. <laughs> okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever you need to say, get it out. So, I, I don't have to say so I'm a groomer if I go after an adult that is younger than that's you can you group you yes you can. How? That, okay, Marilyn, have you seen the documentary with Marilyn Manson and I can't remember I Rachel haven't. Evan I have, Wood? I have not. She was ruined by Marilyn Manson. She was old enough to know what was happening, but she fell into the the mystery and the uh, uh, the lure the the lure of him. Is that the one in California that they like murdered the family? Is that no, one? no, that's Charles Manson. Honestly, oh. I don't even know what documentary she's talking about, but I imagine it's probably some like whore, feminist fucking horse shit. Right? Some woman that, you know, made a bad decision. This is just like the Me Too movement. Remember the Me Too movement happened? And there was like a couple of girls who actually got sexually assaulted, and it's like, okay, I feel bad. And then it was like girls like, oh, I blew this guy for a job in a movie role. It's like, you that's not sexual assault. That's you being a prostitute and like trying to play the victim after you sold your body for fucking a movie role. No murders in this. Oh, that, that was Manson. No. She's no, talking about the, the guy that uh, was just super Charles gothic. Manson. Yes, guy. the guy super the guy that supposedly like, is... sucked his dick with his oh, mouth or whatever. So why is it right? Why is it that in twenty twenty two women are allowed to He took a pair he took ribs out of himself so that he could do this. <laughs> that's not even true. That's been that's like a literally a childhood rumor. It's people used to just say this shit in the playground. It's been dis the funny thing is he disproved that on the Conan show. Like, he fucking said, no, that's not true. It's just, like, some shit people say. Like, 30 fucking years ago. It's like I in the 90s. Questions. So why is it in 2022 that we allow grown women, you know, to say that they've been manipulated and all of this? I saw this earlier when he made a comment and you're like, oh, so we're allowed to do this, right? To you, right? You're like, oh, we're, we're saying that this is okay, the R word, right? Yeah. Oh. You're like, how do you know we drank, right? As many of you know, I was... I mean... Oh, uh, man, this, this this shit drives me nuts, right? Because you see these women on here, and I wish they would have played this clip longer, but you see these women on here who are, I mean, the, the one's, like, right in her prime. She's only 26, um, but the other girls are, you know, older, obviously. And the second men send, say what they're attracted to, they instantly get offended, and they accuse them of grooming. It's like these are full-grown adults that are making their own decisions, Right. But it's, it's kind of fun. I've, I've talked about this before, but you literally, you see this from, like, when you're in, like, fucking high school up, right? So maybe the education system works different where you're from, but, like, where, where I grew up, it was, uh, you had, like, kindergarten to grade 8 was public school. Then you had high school, which was, like, grade 9 to 13, and then college was obviously after that, right? And it was funny because, like, girls that were the same age as me, right? would always date guys that were older than them, right? So when we were grade seven or eight, they'd be dating like the, the grade nine guy, right? Because, oh my God, he's in high school. He's a year or two older than us, right? Like it's, uh, they thought it was like cool. But then the, when, the, when the grade nine guy, right, starts dating the grade nine, or, you know, the, the grade nine guy starts dating the grade seven or eight girls, you'd have those same girls that were dating grade nines when they were in grade seven, eight, or eight, now shaming him for going after young girls. And then you would see them go after grade 12 and 13 guys, right? And then the grade 12 or 13 guy would date a grade nine when they're all the same age. And those same girls that were dating the grade 12 or 13 guy when they were in grade nine are now fucking shaming him for dating the fucking grade nine girls. Like, you should go after girls your own age. Why are you going after the fucking juniors, right? And then those girls start dating college guys, 
right? And then that guy gets to college, and he's dating, you know, he starts dating the fucking girl that's in grade 12 or 13. And then they're starting to be, oh, why are you still dating high school girls? Like, you're, you're in college now. And it literally never stops, right? Because then they start dating, you know, now they're in college, they're dating guys that are 30 or 35 years old. Right? They're, they're, you know, 19, 20, 21, whatever they are in college. They're dating the guy that's like 30, 30, 35 years old, whatever it is. No issue. But then they get to 30, 35, and now they're out of the fucking sexual market for the most place. Right? The only guy that was wants to hook up with them is some fucking guy that's out cougar hunting looking for a notch on his belt that definitely doesn't want anything serious. Then all of a sudden, it's, it's you know, again, it's an issue. Like, oh, you're, just, you're such a sick pig. You're 30 years old. Why are you dating these 21-year-olds? Right? It's like... <laughs> women are always attracted to men that are older than them. Men are always attracted to women that are younger than them, right? That's just the way the world works. It's, you know, attempting to shame people for this and then getting butt hurt because you were too dumb to have any pattern recognition when you were young and didn't realize that, hey, by the time I'm 30, 35, 40 years old, I'm basically going to be used as a human fleshlight. Nobody's actually going to take me seriously because if they actually want a serious relationship, there's some 20-year-old girl willing to fucking date him for a serious relationship, right? So then, then they start the shame tactics, right? Oh, you're grooming. I'm, you're grooming an adult, a full-grown adult, right? Are you fucking serious? Like, what, do you think they're fucking brain dead? Do you think they're too dumb to actually rationalize what they're doing? Like, come on. Oh my god, the, the 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 shame tactics are fucking hilarious, right? They, they try to shame men for any fucking standards they have in a relationship, right? Like, yeah, it's like, oh, I don't want to date a fucking forty year old woman because you know I want to have children, and something like ninety plus percent of forty year old women are infertile. Under normal circumstances, not even taking into account the fact that most of these girls have been on hormonal birth control their entire life, which you know is one of the biggest leaders of permanent infertility. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna go for a girl who's you know I'm I'm 40 years old. I'm gonna date this like 25, 26 year old. Uh, you know we'll have a nice, lovely family, and that'll be you know we'll live happily ever after or whatever, right? Uh, but then they try to shame you because you're not willing to date them. Meanwhile, their fucking eggs are all dried up and fucking useless because they've been on the cock carousel for fucking 20 years. It's like j just don't listen to them. Like there is no point in listening to them because here, here's the thing: they will literally the they will they were literally doing the same thing when they were that age right when they were 20 to 25 they were dating 35 40 year old guys right they're just mad now that those same 35 to 40 year old guys aren't into them because there's still a new batch of fucking 20 21 year old girls every day right don't listen to them they're fucking they're fucking brain dead they don't want to look at reality objectively and i i understand right because realistically like they're in a position where for you know especially for the 34 year old woman um, it's already too late. The 29-year-old, she's getting fucking close to the end. The 26-year-old, she's still kind of in her prime. She's got a little bit of time left. But, you know, the older they get, the the more they have to play the shame games because the they realize that they're in, like, an incredibly diminished position, right? They're basically doing the... the it's, it's, this is, like, the female equivalent to the I'm a nice guy thing, right? Like, the, the fucking slash nice guys reddit threads where you see these guys like why won't she just date me i'm such a nice guy she only wants to date these assholes it's like okay and right they're basically doing that but with their vagina they're like why won't he date me i'm a woman you know i'm a full-grown woman and he wants to date these you know these children it's like um no he wants to date women that are actually able to produce offspring because he wants to have a family right just like sh she wants to date somebody that's got a fucking backbone because she wants her family to fucking live you know, when the burglar breaks into the house, you know, she doesn't want you fucking jumping out the window trying to defend yourself, Mr. Nice Guy. But, uh, yeah, it, just don't fucking listen to them. They're fucking brain dead. Honestly, I don't, I, I, it's hard to say they're even brain dead because I don't even know if they actually believe their own nonsense. I think a lot of it is just a mix of coping and, you know, intersexual competition to attempt to shame men to date them. But just don't do it. I mean, the, you literally, you get nothing out of it. Like, you're, you're... I mean, maybe if you don't want kids, sure, date them. But, like, if you actually want a family, don't. You're, you're not going to. Right? But anyway, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.